Okay, so this issue this issue has been solved by a very kind blogger that I already forgot the name of. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, give me thirty seconds just to recognize this individual. Okay, so he's getting. Uh, it's not going to print out. I'm going to get it back on. Uh, Firefox. But now I'm not going to have to use this camera anymore. I don't have to worry about running out of batteries so long as I don't have to reboot and go into another operating system. Um, okay, so the deal was is that when I would go into... Uh, I was doing this for hours. Uh, VLC. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I hear something printing, so I'm going to give this guy credit. <laughs> he puts it right on the top where I needed it, and as soon as I saw it worked, I was very happy. It's, uh, this is uh, ishmilokblogspot.com. He did this back in July and figured it out, and right there where you've got um, hw colon 1 comma 0, which is not dev DSP, it is not dev... Um, <laughs> anything else for that matter so this camera is fully functional uh, I don't know maybe I should start over again uh, just for Ubuntu 10 because I made it look more complicated than it needed to be but anyway I'm rambling so I'll do this I guess I'll have you know I might do two series one series of hack and kludge <laughs> and the other one of just getting down to business so I'm, I'm happy now and I wanted to be done a couple hours ago but um that didn't happen, but um, I'm, I'm happy. Okay, so what I was doing, so I go in here, I, I would just accept the defaults. I go into Open Capture Device, and it's a little tricky. In fact, I can't even. Okay, it's, it says we'll give a video name. And the instructions for Ubuntu, again, we're changing stuff. Back in kernel land, and people can't do stuff, and they're wasting a couple hours. Every, every one of them. And me? I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one. Uh, dev video zero. We got that. We you know we know that works because you know I've seen videos come up. And then we got uh, the device name, which I should have realized when I went into Audacity. In fact, we're gonna apply this to your situation for him, and coincidentally for me, and maybe for most everybody, it is uh, when you put um, hw colon one comma zero in the audio, de audio device name. Okay, but that may not apply to everybody, so let's figure out. If you're able to go into Audacity, and you're able to use your camera as a microphone like I did, um, you're going to want to look at what your preferences are. Now, this is saying default. Okay, but I could see, when I, see when I look at these? I've got HW 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, and 1, 0. Zero. Now you're, you're, you you may only have one sound card, or who knows if the number is going to be the same for you. So you want to look at your USB audio and make note of what that is. That happens to match up with his, but I'm not knowledgeable enough to say it's always going to match up. So you can use Audacity to check. Uh, now the way to get now why is that the default? It just happens to be the default. Uh, it's the default because I went over here to System, Administration, no, Preferences, yeah, and Sound, and then uh, an Input. This, this doesn't say H1,0, uh, it's got an 081A, but I happened to test it. You can see that the lines are moving. I, I did it in an earlier video. I got it to show up. <laughs> you can barely see those lines move, but it's still going a little bit. And that makes it the default. It doesn't tell me it's the default, but I know it's the only USB audio device I have. So it's one comma zero. That's how you'd find out with Audacity. Now, um, so I'm gonna put this in here, HW colon one comma zero. And what I think I wanna do is I... Okay, well, you'll, you'll see that it works. Hello, hello. This, this is... is and, and echo. echo. <laughs> okay, let me go stop that. 
hopefully it isn't streaming anymore. Okay, I want to go media, open capture device. It's got my settings, but what I want to do is instead I want to stream. I go next, and then I want to do a file. I like the way KDE presents this better than no, once again, you do the browse, you got, yes, I'm in Jack, but it looks goofy, it's like blacked out, that's there, you know, am I here? It looks like I'm in my home directory, okay. I'm going to call this success. And maybe I'll call it MP4. And I don't know what a container is supposed to be. Doesn't seem to matter. Save. Now, if I don't have an MP4 uh, set of codecs installed, of course, it won't work. There's that. It's hard to see, but over here, MP4. And uh, next is just, I don't know, do you want to change the way this thing is, blah, blah, blah? Why, certainly. Okay, then, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not messing with that. And go stream. So now I should be recording, and I'll take this camera, and I'll shoot this camera at this camera. And I'll talk into this, and I'll just do a circle. <coughs> this will be the first time I've ever saved it, so it may not be success. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. We have success. Success. <laughs> let's open with this movie player. Why not? You know what? Oh, it's a decoder. I wonder if an encoder is different than a decoder, and if it if they aren't the same, then I might not have any sound because I picked MP4. Oh no, I'm going to get 13 packages. Alrighty. <laughs> well, maybe.